Hey guys, this is Peter from Universe Show Control and today I'd like to show you how to use Universe to control Ventus. This is Ventus Designer version 6. Ventus is a very powerful uh, real-time rendering media server creation design tool for shows and presentation. And for this demonstration we're using um, a demo project from Ventus that uh, has several scenes, for example the scene remoting for demo 2. Uh, we're using right now with scene data, project data, and we have some. Uh, we have also some templates of animations. So, let's get access to all of it using Universe. First, uh, we need to activate a Ventus device. Okay, the connection indicator goes green. That means all settings are correct, the IP and support. And let's take a look at Orbiter. Okay, there are listed all known scenes that right now prepared for this Ventus machine and the green one means that this, uh, this scene is currently active. Um, if we click on it we have a printout of the whole scene data um, but we want to see at first is what is Ventus doing right now. So just take a picture control, enlarging it a little bit, placing Ventus as a trigger and now we have a preview on our universe side. You can uh, switch between two performance levels, high and low. For example, if you're working with high resolutions and you don't want to stress your network too much, use uh, the low performance option. But now we're working on local hosts, so we can take the high performance one. So let's change some data. Um, I'm dragging in a button, taking, uh, creating a Ventus command, and I have a list of the possibilities. I can um, manipulate the scene data value, scene data trigger, the same for project data, activate scenes, um, handle template animation, queue and take it animation, and also manipulate the template data. For this demonstration, I will take the, I like to change the crawling text or add a crawling text. I say, hello universe. Let's switch to show mode. Okay, and there's my text. I will stay in edit mode for the rest of this demonstration because uh, it takes too long to always switch. Um, and now, I, for example, I like to change um, a value. This is a, the first value here. I take it from 1 to 2. Okay, I can see a change and also the sum that's calculated from all of the, these values is changing. Um, I will activate a trigger. I pause the text. Now I continue the text. And that's nice, but you also can use values from Ventus to do actions in Universe. For that you need to drag the device from the device list to the stage. And then we need to add a parameter output. I take one, I need to cheat a little bit. I take remoting demo 4. And what I like to uh, get is the parameter of the sum. Um, that one. Okay, let's do a simple printout. That's correct, the sum is 5. And if the sum is changing, mm, here, it will be, no, 2 is the current one, it will be updated on the universe side 2. And you can take this uh, parameter to do everything in the universe. For example, taking decisions. Um, I will add two more buttons. One is uh, for matrix. I'm taking a lightware matrix and say uh, load a preset. And the second button is for for PowerPoint presentation, adding PowerPoint device, OK, and say, yeah, navigate to, uh, to the first page of the presentation. And then I need a um, decision modifier in between. And say, take the incoming Ventus value to the decision and say if the sum is 7, execute the matrix preset button and 
if the sum is 6, execute the, the PowerPoint. So, and this is my set value button. And now I say the value 2 is 4. So the sum is 7, and this matrix button was activated, and otherwise another decision was executed. Okay, that are the basics how you can use Universe to control vendors. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Um, yeah, so enjoy Universe.